The fixed income marketplace is a highly fragmented, highly segmented, differentiated market. And you think about the objectives of the different buyer bases. Some are yield based, some are spread based, uh, some have you know, peculiar uh, accounting treatments or regulatory schemes. Um, and so all these, these non-economic factors uh, drive investors' behavior. As a result of that, it's opportunistic for folks like us who can uh, go across these different channels and, and uh, play the seams. Um, so fixed income is just a, a fragmented place that provides opportunity. Um, uh, and so um, I think that's the reason behind it, Simon. I would also say that some of the index construction elements of fixed income are, are uh, somewhat uh, uh, curious. <laughs> you know, I'll use the word curious. Uh, uh, they're, uh, they're somewhat randomly designed. And so there's something like you know, 50% of the entire fixed income market that's not captured in these indices. And it's just, um, uh, 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 it, it's not for a legitimate reason per se. So it could be structured products, an area that we're uh, very much involved in uh, is largely not in these indices that are used to measure performance. Mm -hmm.